to read in data from Excel, we need, of course, to specify the set elements and the data, the values in Excel. And we have to declare the set and the parameter in GAMS. Then it's only one text file that specifies where to find the data and which sheet, um, in which cells. Um, and then that's it basically. After that, only one command uh, to call a tool that can read and write GDX files will be sufficient to get the data from the Access spreadsheet into a GDX file. Let's start with the Excel sheet. I wrote down three values, one, 523, and five, and they belong to the density, the altitude, and the inflation. Just three random constants that I want to cluster now in one parameter. So these are my set elements, and these are my values, and I want that GAMS reads in all this data and writes it into a GDX file. How to tell GAMS to do exactly that. First of all, by declaring a set that may be called list one. And by declaring a parameter that could be constant and list the elements of list one of the set list one uh, are in this parameter constants now we have declared both the set and the parameter and we just need to define where gems can find the data we can do this with a quite simple text file and we could write it with an editor or whatever what but we can also write it within the GAMS uh, user interface by doing this, just this on echo and we can call it for example the task file it will end here and now we can specify that that in list one can be found in the range um, technical, that's the sheet, and it starts at C10. And we have to add a row dimension equals one here um, because the data is found in only one dimension. If it is a two-dimensional parameter, we will later on also give a column dimension, but not now. And the parameter is also in the technical sheet and also gets C10 as a range start. So both start here and GAMS will read it all and see that this set, this set fits to these data and um, will match them. Yeah. So this also gets row dimension one. And now we are almost done. Mm. We also need to specify in which file um, GAMS can find mm. can find the data. So we can enter the following in the command, uh, enter here. I provide this command on my website. So it says call and then a specific file. You should always put in, put in the actual directory. For example, this one. So call this file, which is in this directory with the proper extension. You can squeeze uh, 
zeros, yes or no. And here at task txt, here we specify that this task file should be used to read out mm, the Excel spreadsheet. That's basically it. Now we can execute our GAMS algorithm and check out whether we have a DDX file. Make sure you go on this extension GDX and then you should find the GDX file here and it contains exactly the data as entered into the Excel spreadsheet. And of course we can change this data to 506, save the Excel spreadsheet run GAMS again and then we are asked whether it should be updated yes and then we have the new values here and we can see that while executing GAMS these files uh, were generated and one of them is the task file and we can see that it exactly contains these two lines which were generated with this echo function here.